Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the interview questions that were asked in applied materials. So before we get started, let us thank a subscriber who has shared us these questions and so that it can be of help to all those who are watching. So I would encourage everyone of you to, you know, please share your questions so that it can help the community members who are planning to attend interview. So without wasting much time, let us get started. And while doing so, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe guys. Okay, so here it all started with, you know, the introduction part, like I always say, introduce yourself. So the other interesting part that was asked in this is, other than Tableau, what all you know? So this is basically to test your exposure on other tools or other skills that you have. We try to understand guys, when we are attending for Tableau interview, sometimes the role might demand you know exposure on different skills so here we can talk about you know what all the tools that you have worked on okay like say you know tableau and sql are one standard that we all know but apart from that have you ever worked on any other reporting tools that you can talk or have you ever worked on unix that you can talk of or you know have you have, have you ever worked on etl tools you can talk of or did you ever you no know, work on python kind of thing so this is something you know an exposure about ourselves that we are talking so the more number of experience we are trying to put in our resume or the more number of years of experience we have more number of tools they expect from us so apart from this like say from the manager's point of view uh, do we really have uh, the client exposure okay so have you really you know dealt uh, with the client in taking the requirements or understanding the requirements or have you ever given an effort estimate you know on the time that it will take uh, to you know complete a project or complete a report so all of this matters to you know uh, companies so this exposure they expect from us okay so make sure you know you are having an answer to this type of question especially you know if he's asking what are the other tools or other knowledge that we have so basically we are trying to sell ourselves so like when someone is coming at our door they'll say you know this product does this that a b z everything they will tell but end of the day we only work on tableau it can be like that but just we should have some points to cover ourselves in the first place okay so like i think maybe by now everyone knows what all we need to cover in introduction part okay so i'm expecting you guys to have answer for you know from development perspective okay and then from admin perspective have some points and from uh testing purpose testing perspective and client interaction and documentation these are something that is that you should definitely have in your introduction part okay so that was the first question and the second was write a query to delete employees 10 years before from today so now what is important in this kind of questions so not only in this question this type of specific question is how are you finding out the base date is important so here today is our base date so like that we need to find the base so be it today in sql or be it today in our tableau then only we can build a logic on top of that so let us you know go to our tableau and see what are the functions that can give us our base date so to get the base date or to get the today's date in tableau we have two functions so can you pause the video and tell me what are those two functions? Let us check how many of you know the answer. So first one is today. So today will give me today's date. So if I go and you know apply this uh, and drop it on my label, we will get today's date, 19 February 2023. But apart from that, so I'm just writing it here, will give today's date so we also have another function that will also return today's date that is now so now the difference between these two is one will give or one will return with the timestamp and another one will return without a timestamp 
so this can also be your interview question what is the difference between today and now both are date functions that will return today's date but one will give time uh, timestamp and other will not so you need to answer that in the interview so now same likewise if at all i want to find out you know uh, the date difference in years he is talking if you look at the question write a query to delete 10 years before from today so now whenever we want to find out a difference we have function called as a date difference so here what is important is what is the part of year that you are trying to subtract so i'm telling year so you need to pass year from my order date and today so today is a function that i'm using here so like that you can use any other date field now i'm just taking my order date okay and uh, i will also take uh, now if i try to apply this so from 20 so today also i'll just take i'll write maybe right here see here what is the year in this 23 so it is trying to subtract that and give us five years 19 4 23 years 21 2 years so basically year part it is trying to subtract likewise if you do minus at month level or day level you will get the numbers here now if i say equal to 5 i'll get only those employees who have five years of experience like that now if you need greater than 10 simply greater than or equal to 10 i'll get only those employees whose difference of year is greater than 10 this is in tableau but if at all i want to do it in sql or sql server every tool will have this kind of function which will return today's date that you need to find out so in some cases it can be you know your system date with which will return today's date or it can be in some tools it can be current date like that or in here you know we have current time stamp which is giving us today's date so if you see here i've taken employee table and from that uh I've taken higher date. So let me run this. So I have this table. So here I have only one date, higher date. And we are, I'm trying to find out how many number of years we have passed with respect to this high date. So I've taken only. Okay. Let us also take the employee name here and e name, comma, high date, comma, current timestamp. So same option uh, logic I'm trying to apply here date difference of year part I'm trying to separate from my high date and current timestamp. So what is the result it is giving us? Let us check that. Now this is the number that it is giving. So see here uh, in our uh, current timestamp, this difference, so I'll write it as, as uh, number of years. Okay, so I'm just uh, naming this column and I'm running it. So we got this, see here. And current is time pass, today I'm writing. Now see here, between this date and this date, it is trying to subtract. So 18, 1980 it is, and 23 we are, so almost like 43 years here it is given. So 43 from since 43 years, this guy is working with us that way. Okay. So that way we can actually find out the difference between this and we can delete or achieve the answer for this question. I hope this question is clear. And in later, any, in any interview, if you get this question, you would be able to answer. Next is the rank function. So rank function is, you know, something that is dependent on measure and now, whenever you are getting rank, you need to talk about all the rank functions that are supported in Tableau. Okay. So let's say we have rank and we have uh, rank unique. We have rank modified. And we have rank percentile. And we have dense rank i think so these are the different types of rank functions that are available in tableau so i'm trying to come up with a separate video on this rank function okay so that you know uh, you know we are very clear about this and what is the type of result uh, we get with respect to you know, different numbers 
next is what is blended axis now this is one question that will confuse many blended axis and dual axis guys so don't you know get confused dual means you can remember as a two axes here so if i go to my tableau again like i showed in my previous video here i've taken uh, maybe order date i'll take or maybe any other uh, category i will take okay now i'm taking my sales measure simply so when i took that it is creating one axis perfect but when i take the second measure now how are you putting this second measure matters now if i take this and drop it on the same axis here this is blended axis why because i have only one axis and on this single axis we are talking of profit and sales likewise if at all i want to dual axis i can simply drag and drop on the right side i'll get two axes one is for sales and another one is for profit this is your dual axis concept so if you remember you know we generally keep it on the second axis and click on dual axis concept so this is your dual axis concept okay so always remember don't get confused here next is have you ever created stories now so far you know we were always focusing on dashboards that you know we always tell you know we have created a number of dashboards a number of minus one dashboard like that but in real time sometimes we create stories also so that story may be just to present to client or that story may be just to explain you know what is there in your dashboard or that story can be to tell you know how you are getting the data what is expected from the dashboard what is the problem statement what is the resolution it can be anything so if at all in your experience if you have ever created stories you can definitely talk about that in this question okay so next is next question is what is calculated field calculated field is basically to derive any new value you know apart from whatever the existing fields are there that are coming from our database so it is not like whatever we want is directly available in the table many times we might want to derive new fields so to derive that new fields we have an option in tableau called as create calculated field that we can create by clicking on the arrow bar uh, here and click on create calculated field or you can click on any dimension or measure and under that go to create option and under that you have create calculated field option so from here also you can create other option is i think from analysis option also we can create calculated field so now whatever you feel easy you can go ahead and follow that approach to create a calculated field but all of them do the same thing okay i hope this question helped you next is how are you going to schedule a workbook in tableau after publishing it now this is a server part so you need to just basically go and uh, you know go to the uh, scheduling part and schedule the report here next is what is parameter so to bring in dynamicity to bring in interactivity to your report we have an option called as parameters so you can talk about the use cases that you have implemented okay so use cases so always have at least you know two to uh, i'll say like say two to four use cases ready about parameters because this is something that is very important from real time perspective in every project that you go there is a very high probability that you know you will be using at least one part of the parameter or one use case of parameter so you need to know what are the different types of parameters available okay so don't not worry guys stay tuned with me i'm going to create a uh, another video on parameter where i'll tell you different use cases and explain all of this so this is something that is you know in pipeline and this rank function is also something in pipeline that is going to come so next is write a calculation to take only profits now this was something interesting that was asked maybe we need to write a calculation to this but the intention is to take only positive numbers so when user is telling only profit means positive numbers here to be very specific so let us try that so for that what i am doing is i am taking my prof profits here 
and I'm just trying to drop it uh, on my rows and I do not want this to be aggregated. So I'm just you know, converting this into disaggregate measure. So now you see, I have negative numbers. These are my negative numbers. And similarly, I have, I want to take only positive numbers. So I'll just do it with respect to my order do it order ID, sorry. Okay, now let us write a calculation here. And uh, now what I'm doing is only uh, profits here. If my profit is greater than zero, then give me profit else it is zero for me and now what is happening here when my profit is greater than zero then i'll take profit only in this condition otherwise i'm just returning zero so wherever my profit is less than zero it will just print a zero so here if you observe it is a minus 19 so it should replace it with a zero likewise here it is minus one this should also replace with zero let us see if it is working apply and i'm going to take that only profits and i'm going to drop it on label see here all my negative numbers are being replaced with zero all my positive numbers it is returning my number that way we can try to fix the logic and we can print only positives from here okay so i hope this question was useful try to create a logic or you know uh, like this to solve the problem that's it from my side in this video i hope this was useful and don't forget to like share and subscribe guys see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day